glorious legend. I like that one. All right, and here we go, guys. The world's being made, and I'll see you all when we're in the world. And I actually ended up killing King Slime without even having to touch any of my weapons. Kind of implemented a big impact in my life, passing over a very oddly generated corruption. What I'm trying to do here is trying not to fight any enemies. Alright, there seems to be a chest down here. The graveyard won't be able to be a thing. Ah, the dark trap is my worst enemy. Blech. Almost dying here to this ghost. Oh gosh. Okay, let's try and uh, avoid this ghost as much as possible. I think what I'm gonna do is get on one of these and fly away. Okay. Oh, there's more traps. <laughs> Looks like the zombies fell into my pit and my wonderful trap. So I'm gonna be careful here. In fact, there's my money. I managed to jump over the trap. Yeah, web is useful for beds and for string. Now there's a gnome in that. That is very insanely lucky. We have, oh boy, this isn't lucky though. We have vultures after us. Uh, they want to eat us. And it looks like they did. <laughs> Why this is a thing? Build so the vultures don't kill me. Able to avoid lava at all costs. Um, there's also gold down here, which I'm going to save in the chest. Um, but hopefully, Hopefully the game is nice to us, because sometimes it's not. So let's hope it's either a blizzard and storm or a magic carpet. Okay, it's a sandstorm and a bottle. Mine, we have no armor right now and eight defense. Hello everyone, Ali here and welcome to Terraria. I've actually haven't played well I have played it on this channel but I haven't like actually done a full-on series this is gonna be a full-on series it's going to be yo-yo only so it's gonna be interesting um, to see what I can do but I have good faith in myself for sure I'm just gonna make myself instead like myself what I look like exactly in real life so might as well do that exactly what I'm wearing to right now. Why not? Um, so yeah, my hair is a little on the shorter end. I did just did get a haircut, so it's a little bit different. A bit more grayish silver here. I do have like greenish silverish hair. Oh, there we go. Mostly because my hairstylists actually messed it up. I went to uh, go get it dyed blue and uh, they didn't do it blue, so it's a little messed up. My eyes are like yellowish hazel, and they usually change color, so yellowish hazel. My skin color is a little bit on the uh, tanner side, let me see. It's a little bit tan, but also a little bit white. But I need to get that, uh... I think that's about, yeah, that's pretty accurate right there. What I'm wearing right now is a bright orange hoodie, so let's see if I can copy that in the Terraria. A white shirt underneath. For pants, I'm wearing short shorts, but sadly there isn't any, so I'll just do the color of them. For my shoes, the shoes I have in my room are completely white, so there we go. And now that is me. And uh, make sure it's classic mode, everything is set perfectly, alright. Obviously, I'm going to be able to decipher between these two, so it do doesn't really matter. So, let's create a new world, large master corruption as usual. Let's randomize the seed 10,000 million times and enter a world name. Let's see, let's randomize it. The Glorious Legend. I like that one. Alright, and here we go, guys. The world's being made, and I'll see you all when we're in the world. Alright, everybody, we're in the world, and now to get straight off the bat, what we're going to do is we're going to start flattening the world because there's a little secret that I don't know if you guys know about. But once I get enough lava, I can make my house into a lava farm. And I've done this in many other worlds to practice it. And I actually ended up killing King Slime without even having to touch any of my weapons. <laughs>
King Slime fell into my lava pit, and I ended up just killing him pretty much freely. He was stuck in my lava pit the entire uh, boss fight. So I want to see if I can implement a lava farm as my house in this world. So I think it would be very interesting to do. But in this episode, we're mostly going to focus on trying to get the wooden yo-yo. It's the first yo-yo in the game, so of course I'm going to focus my attention on that mostly. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is chop down the rest of these trees. And I'm going to see if I can flatten out this area so we can build the lava farm. I need to do this right away because the mobs spawn at night and it's kind of annoying not having a house and I like having a lava farm house even though it does take a little more time because I have to mine out all of the blocks. It's very useful. Recently, I actually uploaded a song and it was for this game and it was so good, like I actually am very proud of it. So very proud of it. And um, so it's on my YouTube now. I actually was thinking of making a separate YouTube for music, but then I was like, why not just keep it all on the same one? Because I've seen people make separate channels before and they don't really like turn out to be that good. They turn out to be like, well, not many people click on them, right? Because they're mostly focused on the main channel. So I was thinking, if I can just post everything on my main channel and have different playlists for it, then I won't have to make a separate channel. I actually have been doing YouTube for around 12 years. 12 years now? It's kind of implemented a big impact in my life. And what I'm doing now is building a hole so the slime doesn't absolutely murder me. And I'm gonna build pretty deep down because I want this to fit not only the king slime, but maybe the queen slime. I was thinking about that before. I was like, what if the queen slime were to fit in one of my mob farms? It only says the king slime can be injured though, so it might be a little bit different than what I'm expecting. But hopefully it, it doesn't just implement to the king slime, but it implements to the queen slime as well. I might go explore the world now because we do have a little base already set and I feel like mining all of that out and talking to you guys would be quite boring. So we're gonna go explore this world. I did do a large world because there's more loot and I did do master mode because it's honestly my most favorite mode. And uh, for all you guys wondering, my most favorite yo-yo is actually the tsunami. I think it's just very pretty and I... I'm hoping to get the tsunami in this series, at least. Um, yeah, what I'm doing now is passing over a very oddly generated corruption, and we're gonna see if we can get past it because there's going to be loot on the other side. What I'm trying to do here is trying not to fight any enemies. I'll only fight the enemies I absolutely have to. Um, but for right now, I think they should definitely add a, uh, I'm most likely gonna die here from this worm. Maybe if I leave, it'll go back to the corruption. I won't have to deal with it. That's the hope. And it did. All right. I'm glad the, uh, game developers fixed that. Because <laughs> usually when you left a biome, the worm would just follow you and you'd pretty much instantly die. Yeah, I am working on music. It is very interesting. It's taken a lot and uh, I've gotten really good at it, surprisingly. So music is going to be another big thing on my channel. I'm probably going to post one song a week at least and uh, hopefully it goes well. Oh, there is a tree over there. Um, sadly, I can't use the flinch staff or the finch staff, whatever it's called, because it's not a magic weapon, but it is a really good summoner to start off with. Um, and I died! <laughs> and the house was right there! 
Now, I don't know why I thought I could make that. <laughs> Just because I'm uh, not smart. Not really smart at all. Alright, there seems to be a chest down here. And a lot more pots. So let's break these. And I also found out if you have sunflowers nearby a graveyard, the graveyard won't be able to be a thing. Which is kind of interesting. Sadly, I got a, a wooden boomerang and a wand of sparking, but this isn't a melee or a magic series. It's a yo-yo series. So let's see if I can get some string. Hopefully I can. Oh, there seems to be a little bit here. Alright, that's really good. Um, we're gonna go and explore this cave. Hopefully we don't absolutely perish. And it looks like we did from traps. <laughs> Ah, the dart trap is my worst enemy. You guys haven't really seen me play Terraria before, but I can't tell you how many times I've died from traps in this game. <laughs> but what I'm going to be doing is preparing myself for them next time and getting myself a grand design as soon as possible. And also placing a campfire as soon as possible here would be great too. Right, so for this build, what you gotta do is build up like this. Make sure there's enough room to have kind of a lip on here. And you could do this uh, and grapple in to the house. But personally, I can put a door. I think the trap door idea is way better. But first we have to get iron for that. Um, rope isn't necessary, but... It is appreciated. I think the other side of the farm, it's gonna be big. Like, this is gonna be one of the biggest series ever. So, I'm gonna do probably right here as the other side of the farm. Alright. And I'm going to mine down this way and put a block here. So, what happens is the, uh, the slimes, well, the slimes, yeah. But anything else, they jump over this block right here and they fall into here, which is going to be the lava pit. Yeah, as soon as I get down here, I'm gonna put lava down here, and it's gonna be great. <laughs> And all the mobs are gonna die, so I won't have to worry about it at all. Another idea I've had in mind was I was actually going to make a hardcore series in Terraria. Now, I've never played hardcore before, and I don't recommend playing hardcore unless you're really good at the game. And seeing as I die from traps a lot, it's gonna be kind of tough. But yeah, I was thinking maybe I could do a hardcore series and give it a try. Um, obviously right now I'm not being safe at all because I just let that slime, you know, just stand there. <laughs> but that's because it's not hardcore. In hardcore I'd be much more safer than this. And for now, that's gonna be good for where we're at uh, for the house. What I'm gonna... Bleh, what I'm gonna try and do is go down into the depths of the caves. And I'm gonna try and get myself some nice items. Hopefully I can get enough string for that wooden yo-yo. Ah, oh, it's so tempting. <laughs> it's tempting me because I already found uh, found some string, so hopefully we can get there. Let's try and not fall on that trap again. Um, which I have done before. I've fallen on the same trap twice and forgot it was there. So, right, is it here? Problem is, I can't really tell. Alright. Looks like it's not here. My grave is down there though, so it is definitely nearby. Okay, so it is right there. Alright. Nice. And I'm gonna try and break this. Now another cool thing is if you break the block under it, it doesn't destroy the pressure plate. And you can actually use this as a way to look for traps, which I found quite interesting. Just a little tip for you guys. Um, I am going to break this gravestone because it's good for farming later on when I need to 
make a grave farm. You see, which I actually end up turning my house into a grave farm just because it's a lot easier to farm for money and coins and stuff because mobs always spawn in graves. Almost dying here to this ghost. Oh gosh. Okay, let's try and uh, avoid this ghost as much as possible. I think what I'm gonna do is get on one of these and fly away. Okay. Oh, there's more traps. <laughs> right, what did Chippy Gaming say? Always go slow on the damn minecarts, and there I go, just go zooming ahead. But there's a ghost after me, so either way, I was trapped there. But I guess uh, that was a good run for now. What I'm gonna try and do is get some iron. Now I know there's some at the surface here, which is actually very good. So I'm gonna mine this one row. Every time I die, I'm just gonna mine a row so it's not as boring for you guys. And I'm gonna try and get the iron that's under this. There's a very uh, deadly looking zombie here, right? Took some iron, or took some potion. I'm about to take some iron though from right here. I'm going to build a little temporary house. Hopefully it can withstand the zombie, right? This tree is quite annoying. <laughs> Come on tree, I'm mining here. I'm mining here. Now we got some iron. Unfortunately the guide is probably gonna die because there's no house for him. That's alright, I'll build the houses off camera so you guys don't have to be bored watching stuff like that. Now a big problem with doing yo-yos only is um... Having to beat the wall of flesh, I heard that's a big issue because of distance. And uh, distance is a big problem in this game. Only because the wall of flesh, if you're too close, he can pull you in and you will immediately die. So, problem is, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I think I have an idea for that. And hopefully it works well. But what I'm going to do is buy asphalt. And I am going to flatten out hell, and I'm going to put asphalt everywhere. And that will make it so I can run really fast, get close to the boss enough to hit him, and then run back really fast so he doesn't have time enough to grab me. Um, I don't think anyone's ever tried this idea before. Though I'm pretty sure people have flattened out asphalt and hell before. They haven't used a yo-yo while doing it. So... This is going to be interesting to find out if that works. Looks like the zombies fell into my pit, into my wonderful trap. Alright, let me see here. Hello, zombies. <laughs> yeah, what I need to do is I need to heal up. Looks like I'm full health, though. And what I'm going to do is try and get down in that cave again, because there's very good loot down there. Now, of course, in the beginning, I'm going to die quite a bit, guys, so it's kind of inevitable. But hopefully I can get some nice stuff so I don't have to end up dying as much. So I'm going to be careful here. I'm going to go very slow. I'm going to make some torches so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, there's a trap up there. So it looks like it's a pot one. Alright, there seems to be a, uh, a worm following me. That I can't actually kill, because I don't have a yo-yo yet. Oh boy, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Of course guys, I'm also getting the white string. The white string is a very good starting accessory for yo-yos. Uh, let me slow my roll here. So there is a trap up ahead here. And hopefully I don't hit it. But I know it's here. I've been on it. In fact... There's my money. I managed to jump over the trap with a minecart. That was impressive. I've never done something like that before at all. Alright, there is a worm coming after me. I'm gonna see if I can get this string uh, quick enough so that the worm doesn't murder me first. Alright, let me mine this string because string is important. We seem to be stuck in a very bad position between a worm and a slime. Alright. Oh boy, and I fell off that <laughs> somehow. Alright. There we go. 
Let's hope that there is a chest nearby. I am hoping and praying for one, honestly. So, there is a tree. Now that's a good sign. I can actually go up this tree. Oh, we managed to escape the worm, which is very good. There is some web over here. So, I know you guys might have been screaming at me, don't go up the tree. <laughs> yeah, web is useful for beds and for string, so I can make the yo-yo. And also for the white string accessory. So we're not only going to get the yo-yo, but we're going to get our first accessory today. That's just hoping. Oh wow, okay. We got an anklet of the wind. Usually those are very hard to find, so finding that in my first chest is kind of impressive. Uh, I remember I had a world where it was hardcore mode. And, uh, well not hardcore mode, it was in hard mode. And I still haven't found an anklet yet in that world. So, it is the, uh, it is the one with the character you saw named Allison, the other character. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm in a hard mode. And, uh, I have a full farm set out. I have a massive base. I have everything sorted. All of my chests done. And, uh, I've killed almost half the bosses and still no anklet of wind. It's kind of crazy. Now, what I'm doing here is going through and checking all these trees because they usually have very nice starter loot and uh, that's good for me. Now there's a gnome in that so I'm not going to open that. <laughs> if I ever need to teleport home and I'm gonna do this in a uh, in a hardcore run. I'm actually gonna leave the potions there because if I die that's it for good in a hardcore run. But I'm doing this here as well anyways because I need to save money. And money's going to be important to buy some of the future yo-yos. So I'm going to prepare a little bit ahead of time here. What I need to do is farm slimes though. Slimes are important to farm for archery potions. Um, wait, I realize I don't need archery potions. That is very insanely lucky. We have... Oh boy, this isn't lucky though. We have vultures after us. Uh, they want to eat us. <laughs> and it looks like they did. But there is a temple right there, and those usually have magical carpets. It has a lower chance of a magic carpet though, so we'll see. But I'm definitely going to go back there and try and get it. Alright, I'm going to use a step stool here. <laughs> um, <laughs> one of the most stupidest. It's very stupid. I'm, I'm not really sure <laughs> why this is a thing. Um. Probably just to be funny. So yeah. But we get we got a step thing. Um Alright, I'm gonna go try and go back there and see if we can get the uh pyramid. And I do actually have 17 iron bars. Now that was from exploring. And as you guys can see, that is very useful for us. So I'm glad we got that. I'm also gonna go and collect these sunflowers because believe it or not they're used for movement speed and movement speed during boss fights are very important i'm also gonna try i've never done this either and i don't think anyone's done this either but i'm gonna go out of my way to collect as many sunflowers as i can so that i can put them down in hell and i'm going to be able to move fast enough in order to kill the wall of flesh i just came up with that like off the fly as i was talking about the sunflowers so that is very interesting to think about if you put them down in hell with asphalt blocks and Hermes boots. It'd be pretty much the fastest in pre-hard mode I think you can actually be. Um, which is impressive. And even swiftness potions and everything, like, you could be insanely fast. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, these damn vultures won't leave me alone. Oh, and there's more. They brought their friends. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take a swiftness potion. I'm gonna try and get over to this pyramid and build so the vultures don't kill me. And luckily, I was fast enough to build enough. Now I'm gonna mine down into this pyramid. And hopefully, there is a magic carpet. Because if so, that is very good for exploring hell and able to avoid lava at all costs. 
Um, there's also gold down here, which I'm going to save in a chest. Um, but hopefully, hopefully the game is nice to us because sometimes it's not. So let's hope it's either a blizzard and storm or a magic carpet. Okay, it's a sandstorm in a bottle. That is what I was asking for. Um, a good movement accessory to start off with. Hopefully there might be another pyramid nearby. That's the good thing about large worlds, is they can actually hold pyramids. They have a higher chance to, I believe. So that's very good. Also, they have a very nice escalating staircase all the way into the deep depths. And that's a cactus. <laughs> it seems to be not a safe place down here, so I'm going to leave. Let's see here, do I have enough to make a- yes I do! The wooden yo-yo. You only need 20 string. And we have it, guys! Our f <laughs> Finally, we have the yo-yo. Um, it's looking dank as ever. Let's see here. We can also make an anvil, which is very important. Uh, we need to make chains. Another thing we need to make is the sawmill. And this is important for making the loom. But you can use that to make a string, hopefully. Sadly, we don't have enough to make the string yet. I think we can soon. I'm gonna check the guide just to make sure I know how to make it and I'm not just being dumb. So yeah, the string is 30 cobwebs, which we can, can definitely finish that off in today's episode. And uh, offline, off the episode, I'm going to mine the base and hopefully get that in order. Yeah, we have our weapon. Our first yo-yo. Let's go. It's just normal, normal wooden. Um, I can always craft more though, just to see if I can get a better buff on it. The next yo-yo we need to get is by going underground, so next episode's gonna be a little bit of an underground adventure. But what we have to do is we have to get a, uh... We have to farm those shell guys and the salamander guys in order for them to drop the next yo-yo, which I think is... It's called the Rally. Yeah, and it's white and blue, looks very nice. And uh, hopefully we can get that. But the rally is rare. It has, I want to say, a 3% drop rate. So it is very rare. Um, good thing for this cloud or sandstorm in a bottle. Because now I can actually avoid fall damage. Also, as you guys can see, I just got 10 gold. Which is very impressive. Um, which is very good, too. So when the traveling merchant comes, we can definitely get him. And that's all I'm here for, so I don't want to die from uh, those things, so I'm going to teleport home and keep the money on me, thank god. I'm going to place this chest down, and that's not how I'm supposed to place chests. Alright, there we go. I'm going to put the money in there, and now that is very good, so we can save our money. Important. I took that by accident, because I'm an idiot. Still leaving it in my hotbar because it is important. And we actually have a warding white string. Keep in mind, we have no armor right now and eight defense. So that is very good um, for starting off. But thank you guys for watching. This was the first episode of Terraria. Um, sorry if I talk a lot. It's a thing with me in videos because I'm all alone now. So I do tend to talk a little bit more. But yeah, the music was great. I, I really enjoy making music for you guys. It's really fun. I enjoy making gaming videos. So I'm gonna try and make them more often. I'm working on it, so... Thank you guys for watching. This was episode one. We have the wooden yo-yo. It looks amazing. It's got a big string on it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to slap that like button, comment down below what you guys want to see next, what kind of Terraria series or any kind of other games you want to see. And uh, YouTube ratings show that not many of you are subscribed, so if you haven't subscribed now, it's, you know, it's free and uh, it really supports me a lot and it means a lot to me. But thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate you all. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, hopefully we can get the rally. <laughs> Take care, guys.